All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Bring You Division video. What I've guessed today is a new story trailer breakdown for episode 3. Earlier today, we did receive a new uh, kind of episode 3 trailer. I want to talk about this, show some information you might have missed from the trailer. Also, kind of talk about some of the interesting uh, kind of points we did see, like the new specialization, the new exotic weapon, and some other information that was shown from the trailer. Uh, so first of all, I will show you guys the trailer in the video in case you haven't watched it. And also, I do want to say if I do miss anything from the trailer, like a specific piece of information or maybe a new weapon or something like that, let me know in the comment section below. Obviously, I might not catch everything just watching the trailer. In case, you know, you catch something else, just let me know in the comments so I can know and everyone else can uh, kind of see it as well. But anyways, here's a trailer we did receive earlier today. Ever since the virus hit, we've been hunting for a cure. We believe the scientist who can help us is being held on Coney Island. And by the looks of it, the Black Tusk have him heavily guarded. There's no time for caution, Agent. Get him out of there. Um, so yeah, that is the trailer. Pretty interesting in my opinion. We did also get some information about the new specialization, the new exotic kind of gameplay we saw. Uh, so obviously the first thing we can tell is our mission is to rescue a scientist of Coney Island. He's going to help us with the cure uh, or to find the cure for um, this virus kind of breaking out. The first thing I actually want to talk about that I did notice that's pretty interesting is obviously, like I said, the new uh, exotic this is how it looks again in case you missed it in case you haven't seen it from um, the state of game that it did get announced this is the new exotic vector ar it's a 308 weapon a lot of people thought including myself that this was going to going to be a uh, smg exotic but no it is a ar this is what it looks like and also um the camo on it changes on whatever you're standing on so if you are standing on grass the camo is going to be green if you're standing on kind of pavement or or dirt it's obviously going to be a different camo we also um, kind of got a sneak peek of maybe a new weapon. I'm not really sure if this is a new weapon because sometimes in these trailers, especially it's been a couple times where there's a weapon that's being shown that's not really in the game. So it might be the case, the same case here, but this looks like a new weapon to me. This is kind of a honey badger if you guys did play Ghosts, Call of Duty Ghosts uh, before. This is pretty much the screenshot you could tell of this new weapon. Um, again, if you did play Call of Duty Ghosts in the past, you can tell this weapon 100% of the time. It does have a integrated suppressor as well. It looks pretty cool. I wish this is going to be a kind of new weapon coming with the new content. We haven't heard any information about this, but again, this was kind of the different weapon a, a character was using in this trailer. Now, the next thing we can tell, obviously, is we're getting the cleaners back with flamethrowers. This was pretty obvious with uh, the first trailer we did receive on episode 3. Also, it was, I'm pretty sure, talked about on the set of game that the cleaners are coming back. To see flamethrowers in DC is going to be kind of cool on enemies. Um, I guess you could say it's going to be a little bit more difficult to being on fire and stuff like that. For that reason, you will have to kind of run uh, hazard protection, in my opinion, even for PvE. But also what's really interesting is that we get another kind of snippet and this is going to be a flamethrower we'll be able to use as agents as well. So this is going to be the new specialization. It is the flamethrower. A lot of people were, were kind of already sure about this um, from kind of data mining or, or just kind of previous information. But here we have a new confirmation that it is a flamethrower that we're getting. Pretty cool, I would say. Definitely going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a lot easier to clear out some of the kind of groups in um 
in PvE. I'm interested to see how it's going to work for PvP. But yeah, again, this is kind of the, the screenshot or, or the little snippet we did receive of the flamethrower. Uh, let me know what you think about this, if it's a good idea to have a flamethrower as a specialization in the game, or if it's not, let me know what you're thinking in the comments. The last image or snippet I do want to talk about is the very, very ending, and this is pretty much a snippet of the camera pinning over to the right, and it's showing a person standing, and it's showing his back. You can't really tell the person's face, uh, but a lot of people are saying that this is what Aaron Keener looks like, and this is pretty much going to be a the main villain, the final boss we get to fight in the game. Unfortunately, you can't really see his face, what he looks like, but the trailer pretty much ends at this uh, kind of point, and for that reason, a lot of people are saying that this is Aaron Keener. It could be him, maybe it's not, I'm not really sure. Uh, let me know kind of your opinions or what you think in the comment section below if this is him, if this is going to be kind of the final boss we get to fight maybe in the raid or, you know, just, just in this episode 3 alone. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. But anyway, that's pretty much everything for the trailer. This is everything I found pretty interesting with this trailer. Again, a new weapon, a new exotic, the new specialization, and obviously the ending is pretty interesting. Um, of it panning over to, to this person kind of standing and, and just ending like that. So let me know what you think of this trailer. It's not too much information, but obviously we have a kind of deeper look of what episode 3 is bringing to us and just some of the items we're getting as well. Anyway, if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.